Yo, people, welcome back to the YouTube channel. You already know what time it is. It's time for another video. It's time for another All You Can Eat Chelsea episode. Big up your damn selves in the comments. Lateness is greatness as always. Listen, Baba is not with us today. He's traveling, but we have the three. We have the three musketeers here today, and we've got a lot to discuss. So big up everybody in the chat. Miz, brother, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Talk to me. How are you doing? Yeah, bro. Buzzing. Obviously, the game just around the corner for Chelsea. Um, but yeah, of course, Premier League season kicks off uh, Friday night. Yeah, Friday mm. night. Come we will on. be there. We will, we be, will there. be there. We will be there. We will be there. Hundred percent. Man City and Burnley. Um, nah, man, I'm buzzing, man. Obviously, it's a bit of a downer with the Nkunku news. Uh, massive yep. down. Actually, that that I felt really sad after that. Um, but things got to move on, Matisse. Things got to move on. Yeah, that we're gonna get to that. That's a that's a big big issue for us currently. Um, but Eunice, bro, talk to me. How are you feeling? How are you doing? Looking forward to the start. We're nearly there. Yeah, man, I'm buzzing. I'm bu I've not felt this excited to watch Chelsea in flipping years, man. What's it since 2021? <laughs> <laughs> you like, like nah, last man. season? Last season was good, right? I mean, yeah, but we were we were close to the vibes, weren't we? Mm. Do you know what? We I almost was, had vibes. Do you know what I was saying to, to Miz before you before you jumped in as well is that we haven't had, it feels like, a competitive game since Real Madrid. Since Real Madrid, maybe nice. the... Was it yeah. the, the first... What was the score after the first For, leg? 2-0, I think. So since, since really the first leg, maybe the second, but since the first... I, th I, I think the first leg, because there was actually some hope. Very, yeah. very marginal Small. smidge of hope. Oh, yeah. But second, second leg, Lampard... Three six one, it was not going to happen. Do you know what I mean? But <laughs> first leg, there Three, was six one. Sounds like um Ray Mysterio's. Bro, six exactly. one, that was six one nine. Six one nine. Oh, Mate, if we, we didn't get if six one nine. We got an RKO. That's what. Yeah, we man. I'm out of nowhere. Out of yeah, nowhere. you know, not not playing with a striker and whatnot those days. But it feels like it feels like since whatever whatever you know leg of the, that tie you want to go with in the chat. But it does, it's, it's been since that fixture, since there's been any sort of competitive spirit in, in, in ourselves, because the Premier League was finished. Do you know what I'm saying? There was nothing there. The friendlies, and now we're back and, and everything resets. Everybody's on zero points. And, but for alphabetical order, here we are. We're actually in a good position right now. If we could end the season right now, I think I'll probably take it. Are we, are we, top, are we top four at the moment? Are we there? <laughs> let, me take, let me take Tell a look. Tell me we're top four. Uh, I, think we're, I, think we're, we, I think we're top six. Bournemouth are top of the league, which is great. There are more. Oh, yeah, Bournemouth. There's, yeah, more, yeah. there's more Bs. Brentford as well. There's a, B, there's, a lot, there's a lot of Bs. There's a lot of Bs. <laughs> There's a lot Bournemouth, of bees, man. Bournemouth are only top because their name starts with AFC. AFC I mean, that's a cheat code, isn't it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> AFC. Oh, no, 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 no. Brighton right. would be ahead of us. No, we can't yeah, have that. Yeah, I yeah. I take back everything I said. We need to, we need to <laughs> crack on with the season. <laughs> but no, not... it's, you know you know what's mad? It, it's true. Like, And even those Real Madrid games were, were, were dodgy. But it's, it's the first time in ages where we're looking at it and going, wow, we're, we're going to win a football match. Like we're actually gonna go out there and we're gonna win. Like we're, mm. we're gonna we're gonna play really well. We're gonna be competitive. We're gonna take on the best. Like yeah, you do. And, know and many Anthony many Taylor. people don't. Many people don't think that about us. That's what's nice. Eunice, mm. you do know Anthony Taylor is officiating, right? <laughs> we don't talk about that. Talk less. Talk less. When I saw that, I swear that comes after the game. When, when we're all like raving and ranting and swearing, and I can't yeah. play her. Yeah. <laughs> When, like, I, when, when I, we've when been I, done, when I saw that and I saw in Cuckoo injured, I said, "Wow, it was beautiful, this, isn't it? This it's feels like home. This feels like home. It really does. This is <laughs> this well, is expected. Ill. <laughs> this is Chelsea. This is a Chelsea thing. This is this is home. I feel I feel comfort in this because I, I'm I'm used to the players that immediately start playing well, getting goals in preseason. Oh yeah. yeah, it couldn't be a squad player. No, you don't want injuries no, for why? anyone, but it couldn't be an it couldn't be a squad player or it couldn't no be you know couldn't be someone that we, we're not going to use heavily. It had to be a key player, in integral player. part, right in the epicenter, right in the heart of the whole body. It had to be that player right there in the middle, in the 10. It's the heartbeat, bro. It's the heartbeat. Yes. Yes, it had to be him to get injured. And then it had to be Anthony, Anthony Taylor as always, because that man's... I don't, I don't know if they've got an obsession with giving him the games. But um, the last... How many games between the two teams have been nil-nil? So, yeah. About a million. Um. I mean, the one encouraging thing to take is if we do get a result, oh man, that's going to be such a boost Ooh. with the circumstances. Yep. Man, 
That's going to yeah. be massive. It'll be a mad jizz party everywhere. <laughs> so that's when Miz gets to do what he wanted to do all this time. <laughs> it will be a jizz off. <laughs> and I don't know what... Well, actually, I do know what happened to Bubba in the end because he was saying that he's confident we're going to win. And I was like, where's this coming from? And then he showed me, mm. yeah, he's, he's enjoying the sauce. But <laughs> in Cuckoo being out, before we get to the transfers of Kepa and the news and all that kind of stuff, yeah, what what's you guys' ideal eleven at the moment with how everything stands? No transfers included, obviously players that are available for key positions. What what are you thinking? Because immediately when I saw Nkuku was out, I thought Carney, but I would be absolutely shocked if Gallagher doesn't start this game. I think Gallagher almost definitely starts this game for Poch. as a ten. He will play somewhere. Oh, he will play somewhere. <laughs> he will play. He will play. He will play. More than you can believe. More than you can believe. <laughs> he will be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that pep, the, the pep meme that's going around lately. But we won. We the <laughs> but we won. Like but we won. Three you know how we lose? Because we won. <laughs> because we won. <laughs> There's something very dark and sinister and evil about that man, you know. Gallagher will start. <laughs> you know what if, if 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 we're gonna play Gallagher I would prefer that it's a 4 three, three, and it's Gallagher to the right um, maybe kind of to the right of the midfield Enzo to the left and then maybe Santos in the middle that's maybe the best way of I don't know the best way of going about it but we, we've been kind of alternating between a 4 three, three and a, and a 4 two, three, one. so it could it could be either mm. could I be think either. it'll be a 4 two, three, one. I think you think so four, two, three, yeah, one. I think yeah. Potts will just to start off, you can't be mm. experimenting as you start off when you've had yeah. pre-season in one formation. So, I think he'll be a four-two-three-one. Yeah, with probably it, Carney. If I'm honest, I think Chukwemeka is going to be given the nod. The pre-season, he did uh, get a lot of minutes, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. And in that ten, and he was good. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and so... you know what? You guys might be right about the Chukwemeka. I would have preferred Martin behind Jackson because I feel like he's more of a guy that understands Jackson and looks for those key passes. But I don't know if you saw some nonsense news yesterday from Jacob Steinberg. Like, yeah, yeah Martin, thanks. apparently, like, we may be open. So, you know, we have not heard anything about Chukumika. So, potentially, he might start. It'll be interesting whether Kepa starts now. Like, would Chelsea go, hey, you're in the middle of potentially moving. Maybe Robert Sanchez starts. So, it'll be interesting. It'll definitely mm. be interesting, the lineup. It's a good point. I think... How does everybody feel about Kepper and Bayern Munich? Because listen, Thomas Tuchel, talent ID, it's a spooky, spooky conversation. No, it's fantastic. But, but it's for us, <laughs> fantastic. Now, I think Kepper, when he signed, he signed a seven-year deal and he signed in 2019. So if my he's match is correct, he's got three years left, is what I'm expecting to see when I type it into Google. Um, so would you guys, because for me, Kepper's a very difficult player to move. Actually, no, two years left. Um, so I must be getting something wrong. Maybe maybe he only signed a six-year deal. Um, but anyway, with Kepa, it's he's a very difficult player to shift because he costs a lot of money and he's on a lot of wages. Now, there's some people that feel like it's too late in the window to sell him because we didn't get... If we were going to sell him, we, all, we saw, maybe all saw the report. If, if, if Chelsea were getting this offer earlier, they would have mm. been able to get a bigger name in goal. Maybe, you know, they would be able to put more money towards it and get a proper key... Yeah. first choice undisputed top goalkeeper right now what we've done is get a competition keeper in Sanchez but for me I'm still leaning towards sell because you don't know if this offer is going to come again and especially when his contract will be one year left next summer you could probably get more money this summer you can definitely get more money this summer than next summer if they come in with a 40 million offer for Kepa I can't I can't in good faith say no I can't do it I, I, I it just doesn't feel right personally no, it's got, we... we've, we've got to take it, Matisse. We have to take it. Like, this is a blessing. <laughs> this is a blessing from God that, <laughs> uh, you know, that we've got this opportunity where Thomas Tuchel seems to be keen. Um, but I'm hearing it's a loan, though. Have you guys heard that it's... Oh, it's... Well, then, if it's a loan, then they I'm can go with away. an option. Because with an option. option. Oh, sorry. It with was 20... 2018 summer. is 18, 19 season-y. So that's why... It I was, was yeah. yeah. The yeah. Yeah. So it is a, yeah. So it, yeah. Yeah. So it is a seven-year deal. So... Um, Look, with, with Kepa, um, honestly, he needs to leave for us. He's on a lot of money. And um, 
we we know we've now seen enough of Kepa. Yeah, we've now seen enough of Kepa to say that you know you're not really um, you're not really overcoming your flaws, which is commanding your box. And unless something miraculous happens <clears throat> during this whole season, which I highly doubt it will, <laughs> I can't see how all of that changes for Kepa. So Bayern Munich, happy days. Come and collect the man. Even if it's a loan, take him and uh, obligation to buy. That's what I saw. So okay. yeah, buy him after. Uh, I don't I don't <sighs> it's tough though, isn't it? Say, say for example, we let go of Kepa, which I don't think anyone's really against, right? But mm. if the circumstances we're in, if this was earlier, I'd be an immediate yes. Yeah. But imagine something happens to Sanchez, he breaks his hand. Kepa's not going to be number two though, Eunice. He just won't be. No, He's I mean, but, but say, for example, there's competition, right? Well, you have um, to... You... And, and Kepa's <clears throat> gone, and then we've just got Sanchez, something happens to him. No, no, you ha if, if Kepa leaves, you have to get a goalkeeper to... to... We have to get someone in. To, to back up Sanchez or... Has to be. But, well, but Bettinelli's that... still in the club. Yeah, but he's, he's championship, rely he's on championship level. That... The, the... No, no, no. But why would you rely on... Like, I hear you guys that, oh, what if someone gets injured? But you're never going to get, like, Kepa Sanchez. Like, are, you are you guys trying to do no, 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 like no. Ramsdale, Raya sort of situation? No, no, I don't like that situation. I prefer to have a clear, I don't like undis that undisputed number one. Yeah, I think I think that only happens when the goalkeeper is not good enough to, because nobody says, "Oh, let's right. get Allison some competition." Nobody says, "Oh, let's get <laughs> to Stegen some competition." <laughs> they don't say that. They say, "Let's yeah. get them a backup and on a cheap fee on low wages." And sometimes they'll come in for some cup games, but everybody knows who the head hunter is in the in the in in, in the building. Oh, now, no. when it comes down to our situation, the only reason why we're getting a competition keeper is because Kepa is not good enough to be an undisputed starter. My thing is, is that. Sanchez is not good enough to be an undisputed star either. I was just going to say. But if you, yeah. if you get rid of Kepa, you have to bring in another goalkeeper. But at least the goalkeeper is cheaper on lower wages and doesn't block a move for a top goalkeeper. Because what I don't want is, say we reject it. If they come with a good offer, like a 40 mil, and we reject it, and then next summer we can't move him, then or next summer it takes too long to move him, and then we can't get the top keeper in, then we're in the same situation again. Because it's, how many offers have we had for Kepa since he signed? Barely any. Like none, literally yeah. none. So this is like a really good opportunity potentially if the money's right. I wouldn't I wouldn't really take a loan because I feel like a loan and them sending him back is like what does that do for us? Unless there's an obligation to buy, but the obligation would have to be minimum 40 million or something for me, like proper money. What what kind of money would you would you would you value him at Miss? Yeah, look, I don't know. I'd... 40 million, of course, Matiz. If someone has an obligation <clears throat> of 40 million. But if I'm being absolutely honest, Kepa's probably not worth 40 million, Matisse. Like, we could, uh, we could maybe hype him up to be 40. Well, of course we can. <laughs> of course we can hype up and do all of that. I don't know about you two. I, I rate Sanchez higher than Kepa. Now, not miles higher, but I do rate him higher. I, I've watched Sanchez play for Brighton, and I think from a ball-playing ability, from a shot-stopping ability... Um, is is tad bit better. Mm. So when I, when when Sanchez has gone for how much did we get Sanchez for? 25? 20 plus twenty plus five million add-ons. I don't yeah. know what add-ons are, but uh, yeah, I don't know how many years he left in his contract. Um, obviously, they didn't want him. So when he's gone for about twenty five, how can I expect Kepa, who I don't rate higher than Sanchez, <laughs> to go at forty? Do you know what I mean? Mm. So for me, if I can get Kepa off the wage. Bill this season to buy in Munich, and then have we have an obligation to buy for somewhere around thirty million. Mm. I think I think that's that's a deal. I think that's a deal. Um, and and it, uh, my thought process is I think this Robert Sanchez guy is coming. <coughs> he's gonna get some form of favoritism. I know they say competition, mm. but you got a whole heap of Brighton, you know, goalkeeper ex, you know, Brighton goalkeeper coach. Sorry, yeah, ex Brighton goalkeeper coach now with us. You know, a whole heap of Brighton contingencies around us, they will somewhat favor Robert Sanchez. So mm. there is and no competition. Do you know what I mean? The the backup keeper I'd get would be old as well, like a Navas or someone, just a proper short term. Because we know that, you know, we don't know rather that Sanchez is he gonna be good enough to be first choice for a long period of time. He still has to recover and rediscover his form that 
people spoke of in his first couple of seasons at Brighton when he dislodged Matt Ryan and he was under Potter and all that kind of stuff. So I'm I'm still kind of in the goalkeeping position, regardless of how long the contract is for Sanchez. I'm still thinking to myself, I, 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 at this current moment, we don't have a top keeper. So I'm 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 going to keep some some space for that person just in case somebody doesn't step up. Um, Eunice, what what would you what would you do with this situation? Say, by a minute, come to your door. Thirty. You're saying twenty five. I'm saying forty. I'm kind of negotiating publicly just in case Bayern Munich are watching. Let's say thirty two million comes in. What, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, as soon as they knock on the door, I'm like, yes. <laughs> What, what what's what's the price that you want? Just yes, yes. <laughs> Give us what you want. <laughs> I mean, no. Um, realistically, that that would be, I think, ideal. But um, to be honest, I think what you've mentioned in terms of numbers is fair. Um, we only got Kepa for seventy odd million because we had a seven year contract, and well, we had to buy out his entire contract, and he was super young. So. I think that's what kind of ignited the fee to get as big as it did in the, in the first place. If not, with based on performances, how he is, his level and all of that, not to say he's completely rubbish. He's not completely rubbish. But at Chelsea, yeah, is he good enough to be standout number one? Probably not. Mm. Um, I think as long as Chelsea can bring in a replacement, I think, and I, I've said this, I do think in the long term, Sanchez would end up becoming the number one. If it were to be a competition between him and Kepa, I think much like at Arsenal, David Raya will end up taking the number one spot is the same how Sanchez will take the number one spot. That's my honest opinion in terms of how I think it would go if both were to stay. But mm. um, if that's the case, yeah, Chelsea getting a replacement, at least on the short term. If Bayern Munich won him on loan, call obligation to buy, but that obligation to buy in terms of a fee, yeah, no less than 30. Anything mm. about 30, take it and go. Mm. It's a difficult one. I'm going to I'm gonna run it a poll in the chat because there seems to be like a little bit of kind of um, disagreement and debate, which is good, which is what we want. So I'm, I'm actually quite interested to see what the poll results will be on this one. But this um, this Lukaku, uh, did, have we really spoken about this Lukaku Vlavic deal on this show? I don't really feel like we have. Not really, no. Um, which is crazy. It's changing. Yeah. It's also because like it's it's and it's also been going on for a while, so yeah, it's kind of surprising that we haven't. But let me let me run this poll. Um, yeah, what would you guys do? With this 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 uh, it's true. this is mad. <laughs> have, no, have you seen the pictures? So there's I have about six Juventus ultras with a big banner, and it says exactly that. Have you seen what um, who was it? Fabrizio Romano tweeted some. One from Inter Milan, one of the hierarchies from Inter Milan. Yeah, Can't remember who it was? Was it? Was it? Um, no, it's pretty high no. up. I think. Hang on, I've got it here. Um, he said there is no chance of Lukaku. This guy has betrayed us. I even commented. I'm like, and then they were saying um, this type of behavior we didn't expect. And I'm like, how could you? Oh, Zanetti, that's it. Zanetti, the vice president. Yeah. Oh, okay. Zanetti, yeah. yeah. Like it yeah. can't get bigger than Zanetti. No. Um, yeah. He said there is no chance for Lukaku ever at Inter Milan. They did not expect him to behave in that manner and, and, and you know, basically betray them. And I'm like, dude, you failed to read his character. <laughs> like we, we tried to tell you guys. <laughs> <laughs> he betrayed us for you. What do you think? Like, he wasn't going to betray you for someone mm. else. And, and that someone else is Juventus. And they don't want this guy is screwed. Do you know what? A lot of people are like where I was at three months ago, which is we need to get rid of him as soon as possible, get him out and just take Blavich because we just need to get rid of Lukaku, regardless of how confident you are in Blavich. I've, I'm, as, as time goes on, I'm getting calmer and calmer and calmer because I know this guy is sitting on the sidelines somewhere realising how screwed he actually is. And he yep. understands that Saudi is soon to be the only option. And I'm very calm with this because I feel like there is no chance of Pochettino bringing him back into the fold. Even if he no. doesn't leave, he'll just be sitting in the reserves. So for me personally, the Euros is coming up next summer. You must move. So yeah. it's, it's, it's now become your problem. This is, I don't even see this as a priority in the window anymore. This is no. his problem. This is honestly his problem. He can do a Diego Costa and train in Brazil in the mountain, um, not in Brazil, he can train in Belgium. 
You know what I'm saying? In the mountains for the <laughs> whole year. <laughs> Do you remember when the favela? Do you remember when the favela? Tell him to betray people there. Do you, See what do you, remember, do you remember when Diego Costa was training in Brazil to try and yeah. get away from Conte? Yeah, Lukaku yeah, yeah. can train in Belgium, you know, or in Italy. You know, I've seen images of him. In Italy. He can train all season long out there. It's not a problem. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not a problem. You can do that. The Euros is coming up next summer. It's Belgium's last opportunity, or your probably last opportunity of Belgium to win a major tournament. Your business, brother. Your business, brother. Handle your mm. business. You've got Jay-Z behind you. You got all of these people around you. You guys can find the deal. It's not a problem. There's the MLS. I'm sure that one of them clubs will take you. There's Saudi. I'm not worried because I know this is like a deadline day, last gasp, shit, I need to do something kind of move. So I I'm cool. Let, let him sit there and take his time. He's not he's not coming back into this team anyway. Like, it's just not happening. So I'm pretty chill now. I'm very, I'm very calm. I couldn't care this, less. <laughs> this guy, man. I hope one day this he guy. sits down and just realises... What an absolute douchebag he is. Like, honestly. No, this... no, no. no. <laughs> there will not be self-reflection. <laughs> I, I can't believe how how you are hated across so many different fan base. It's I, crazy. It's mad. You are Actually literally not. hated across many fan bases. Mm. Like, there are players that are hated in, like, one fan base. But they loved somewhere. Else. Ad so Adebayo I, is a great example of this. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Adebayo is another one. Um, Romelu Lukaku, you're right, Matisse. Man, maybe maybe it's time that it's not really our problem anymore. We've we've reduced our wage bill astronomically. So mm. yeah, it hurts paying you that 300k, but it will. The fact that you don't get to play, it will hurt him more. It will hurt you more. So mm. you find a solution quick. Um, so I don't, I don't get why he doesn't take Saudis. I really don't understand it. That's the only club that wants you. Maybe he's worried that if he betrays the Saudis, he's probably going to be dead. <laughs> he'll be dead. dead. He'll be dead. So he can't be doing, he can't be doing those betrayal stuff to them. <laughs> they will, they'll make sure the birth certificate doesn't exist. Oh, he, they was never yeah. born. <laughs> they go to the Saudis. They go to the Saudis. Where's Romelu Lukaku? Look at that. <laughs> Lukaku per Saudi Saudi sports Yo. news will be like Lukaku permanent transfer to air. <laughs> <laughs> Lukaku's mom just like, vanished. My kid. Yo, the Saudis right, be like, you never, you can't, never gave birth. You playing with the you Saudis never like gave that. <laughs> <laughs> they will change your life over there, bro. Charles bro. Um, but incredible. the reason why obviously we bring it up is because of Vlavic. I haven't. I know. I think I know Miz's thoughts on Vlavic, but Eunice, I'm not sure. Yeah. On what you think on on Vlavic at the moment, like are you? You just want him. He's dirty like that. Oh, oh. <laughs> talk to me. Talk to me. Why what, what, would you think? Would you take Vlavic? And how much would no. you pay for Vlavic plus Lukaku? Because Juventus are trying to do a fast one, trying to pull a fast one. I I, I don't know what to think on Vlavic. I'm torn every time. I, I'm torn because in, before Juventus, he looked quite prolific. Juventus, not so prolific. Now what Vlavic would actually show up. On top of that, if it was as Vlavic on his own, like us looking for a strike and we go for Vlavic, I don't think he'd be as popular as he is now, bearing in mind the circumstances. The only reason why we're considering this guy is because we have to get rid of Lukaku. True, true. That's yeah. the only reason. Like, it, yeah. and, and if you put that on a table for me, Vlavic or Lukaku, mate, it's a no-brainer. I'd, I'd rather have a striker that I can somewhat use and kind of happy to be here. Right, mm. then someone I'm paying 315k a week that's doing absolutely nothing and is sabotaging every single connection with every fan base he possibly has. Right, like it's, it's a no brainer. So, on that level, of course, I take Vlavic, but if it was just isolated, Vlavic as a player, as a target, f forget Lukaku, just we're looking for a striker, Vlavic, I don't know, maybe Poch can, maybe if you get him with Poch, maybe he'd turns into a blockbuster striker maybe maybe he flops i genuinely don't know what to think about Vlaovic. i'm torn i'm actually torn but if it means that we get rid of lukaku i wouldn't mind having Vlaovic, considering we also have nicholas jackson who i think is gonna smash it mm. <laughs> so you know we're what, not really losing anything do you know what my worry is right is that Vlaovic has been available all summer nobody's mm. coming for him apart from psg but they didn't really go strong PSG briefly yeah. they got ramos and if we sign him on a seven-year deal and he doesn't work out because of all the issues and red flags that we're aware of, 
then we're screwed. <laughs> and that's yeah. that's my problem. Whereas, like, when you sign these, like, cheap pl- strikers, like the Jacksons on cheap wages, I don't have that same PTSD because I just know that if it doesn't work that's out, true. we can go again. Whereas when you sign someone, and Vlavic is not expensive, maybe, if you involve Lukaku, from a complete deal standpoint, I'm still not forgetting that this same Juventus team offered 40 million euros at the same time as Inter. And there was no Vlavic in that deal. So effectively, they want us to pay the 70 million package. Yeah. They just want to involve Lukaku plus the 30 million or 35 million euros. So they think, they think they're fooling me, but you're not fooling me. You're not fooling me. I can, I'm doing the addition and it's a lot of money <laughs> together. It's a lot of money. So I know what you're doing. But to some people, Lukaku is worth nothing now. And I get that. I get that. And I, I hear it. So Vlavic is technically, well, not technically, but, you know, for them, emotionally, he's like 30 million or 30 million euros. But like I said, he's going to be on pretty, you know, high wages. If it doesn't work out, then we're going to be in the same situation that Juventus were in, which is how do we get rid of this guy? And my thing is with Vlavic is that I don't feel like he's the kind of player where there's not going to be better on the market. Do you know? Like, mm. I've, I've spoken about Kane before. It's extremely unrealistic. His contract expires next summer but I, w- I want to be a- I want to be there I want yeah. to be there I'm like I know Kane is like a one percent chance but if Man United don't move and you know say all these other clubs just sort out their striker positions long term you know PSG have got Ramos you know Arsenal would never happen even more so than us Man City that sorted Liverpool that sorted there's only a select few say Real Madrid getting Mbappe there's only a select few of clubs that can go from I just want to be there just in case like worst case scenario for Tottenham fans, we become an option. I want to be there. And then you've got Ivan Tony, etc. So he's he's not it's like the goalkeeper situation. Like I don't I'm not I don't have enough trust in him to block the rest of the market off for the next three, four years and say you're the guy. I don't you, the injuries he's had over the last you know year or so and and whether or not he even wants to join us, we still don't know. There's just there's just not I don't have that like tunnel vision. It's not like with Kaiseido. Or how it was with Chua Many, where it's like, yes, this is the guy. Get him and you're sorted for the next six, seven years. I don't feel that with Vlavic. You, Juventus, they're, they're a funny club. They, they they think they're like, hey, we'll do you a favour. We'll take Lukaku off here because he's such a hassle for you. And he's a discount for Vlavic. Yeah. <laughs> Brother, Lukaku still is worth some money. <laughs> they're trying to make it look like, we'll, just take, we'll, take, we'll take him. Don't worry. No more mm. hassle for you. He's ours now. No. I get it, though, innit? I understand why they would do that. It's, it's, but it's yeah, dirty on tactics. End, it's smart. <laughs> yeah, but, they're making it look like, they're making it look yeah. like, oh, wait a minute, we're actually getting a discount for Vlahovic. And there's no discount. It's a total package of in excess of 70 million euros or whatever, 75 million. Look, the thing with Vlahovic, <clears throat> I think is there are certain skills that can be easily transferable to the Premier League. I just got a few doubts. You know, when was the last time, you know, a striker from Serie A absolutely killed it in the Premier League? That's one thing. The other major thing is he's, he's got growing injury issues. Like, he's got major issues uh, around his abductor and pubalgia, whatever you call it, that, yeah. that, that word. Um, so there's that. And then on top of that, I'm not even sure whether he really wants to come at Chelsea. Like, you know, if this guy really wanted it, you'd have heard some news already that he only wants us, this, that, the other. As you said, Matisse, if we wanted him as well, the offer's there. <laughs> it's been there. Know we want him. Pochettino's still deciding. Exactly. Like, if Poch yeah. was so clear about Vlahovic, the deal's there. You mm. go and do the deal and the deal happens, right? But he ain't clear about it. And then there was some footage of Vlahovic in Munich yesterday. Mm. So what's going on there? Have they given up on Harry Kane and maybe now it's Vlahovic for them? But Who do, knows? I don't but know. You know do we, we're in this vicious cycle of we need depth and we need a lot of players because we have loads of injuries. But then in the same same breath, people want to keep signing players that have had injuries and are susceptible to injuries. I'm like, <sighs> w- w- like what? Like, do you, so, so, the, so the plan is let's just have a big squad of injury prone yep. or susceptible to injuries players and then when they inevitably pick up those injuries which will lead to inconsistency mm-hmm. then we'll have other injury prone players that can come in as well it's literally the Pulisic Ziyech 
you know, Hudson Adoy game all over again. Like, I don't think people understand if someone is susceptible to injuries and they pick up injuries, their chances of being successful at this club diminish massively because they're never going to have any consistency. So when I go on any sort of player link and I see a list of injuries, I'm already turned off. I'm not jizzing like you. I'm not doing any of that. As soon as I see a list no, I'm of injuries, I'm, here already anymore, I'm already out. Because I'm like, what? why why go for someone who has injuries when you can just find someone who doesn't? It's, <laughs> it's like the situation, <laughs> just before Eunice goes, it's like the situation where, um, you know, I, I like Michael Elisa a lot. But we've got Nkunku injured and so many people are like, get Elisa, get Elisa. Like, brother, you do realise he's injured as well. Like, he ain't coming but back people, the whole of September. People are mishearing what I said in my video the other day. I'm not saying Alicia is injury prone because if you go on Alicia's page, there's not that many injuries. He's injured. And we are trying to replace somebody that's injured. I've never seen before someone get an injury and our alternative and option to replace them is it's another, another <laughs> player that is injured. I've never seen this before. And He's I don't not even know playing. how... Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just, I've lost my mind or I've, I've got something wrong with me, but I'm not understanding the logic. I'm genuinely not getting it. Even if, if he's out to October, that is two months away. That's, that, that is not good. We need someone available today. So the I don't team. understand where this is coming from. We had from. a grade three tear in the under 21s Euros. So we have, I, have I lost my be... mind, Eunice? Anyone? No, it makes no? sense. It makes okay. sense. It's okay. Just... okay. I was just checking because people with... are looking at me like I've, like I've lost the plot. <laughs> no, no, it's true. I, like I, 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 pin, I pinpointed this as well because um, when 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 the whole Neymar thing popped up and was like, oh, no, Neymar's injured. I was like, you can't use that as an excuse. Like, I understand why you know Neymar would be kind of on one end ridiculous as much as it would be unbelievable, but it'd be ridiculous at the same time. But the truth is that right now he is injured. So if we're looking to get someone in to replace <clears> someone who's injured, and you get someone injured, and then people are like, oh, but you know, if we're going to turn to Olise. He's injured as well. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, the whole Shirky thing is a discipline problem there, it seems. So we're not going to even go up go for him. He's not leaving Leon. So I genuinely think the Olise link is because we've not really identified anyone else. And maybe in terms of profile, he suits what we're trying to do. But you're right. In terms of him coming in and making an impact, he's not going to because he's not going to play till October. So that's just that's the truth of the matter. Um, but with um, Vlavic, look... I've, I, like, I, like I've said, and I'll say this again, if it, it, I genuinely believe, I think it's because of the Lukaku situation mm. as to why we've got a link with this guy. It's as simple as that because it could be the only way out for Lukaku. And yeah. if it wasn't for that, I don't think we'd be targeting him in the first place. And hence why I think maybe Poch and the club are hesitating at the moment because it's not a case of we want this striker. It's a case of we have to get rid of this one. And he, this might be the only way out. So... Mm. I genuinely think it's because of that. I don't think it's more to do with we need Vlavic. I think it's more of we need to get rid of Lukaku. I pray in 12 months' time we're not back with Juventus saying we need to get rid of Vlavic and they're like, how about Lukaku? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's play footsies. Let's play footsies. You know what, boys? I don't know about you guys. Like I see so many people sometimes comment um, on, on my videos as well saying, is what's going on with Chelsea's standard? You know, we should be going for the best of the best. Ladies and gentlemen, we've tried that angle as well. We have. <laughs> like, people act like the we haven't spent money. Mm. Yeah, but, Look at our business people... so far. Exactly. Like Bro, all anyway. of the players that I'm most impressed with are the ones I had no idea about. Exactly. Exactly. But but people act like we've never spent money. We've spent money, yeah. like, and they've not worked out as well. You need to understand that. So somewhere along the way, we need to change the philosophy around a little bit. We mm. need to probably think about. Squad harmony. What works best for the squad? It may not be the most glitzy name. It may not be the top of the rank. You know, like for example, people saying, "Miz, I can't believe you don't want Neymar. You're mad. Neymar should be 100% played for Chelsea, brother. It don't work like that. Uh, Neymar is another one of those guys who's <clears throat> barely finished a season at Ligue 1. Like he's always ne injured. Ne Neymar is one of those players that whenever we get linked, I refuse to even talk about it because it's just pointless. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Yeah. And and Thankfully, I didn't because it came out again afterwards, the link that Pochettino is not interested. Chelsea are not interested. They've got a certain way of recruitment right now. They're not going after Neymar. How much is Neymar on? Like, I don't know. 500,000? million, thousand? 700 like million, trillion a week. <laughs> we're, we, we're not going to bring Neymar into our wage structure. 
And if you look at Neymar's injuries, unfortunately, as incredible of a player he is, in the Premier League, he's definitely getting clamped. And he's definitely going to get quite a few injuries, in my opinion, as well. And and it, it, I get I get it's like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see Neymar at your club. And, you know, he's an incredible footballer. I get all of that. But you're in the wrong ownership kind of period for us right now, if that's what you want. Like, you're in the wrong manager you're in the wrong timeline. You need to go back to Roman Abramovich, 07, 06, if you want that type of transfer. You just, sometimes you got to put reality with what you want. And if you don't do that, you're going to be disappointed. If you think we're getting Neymar this summer with, with Poch, with what we've been doing with our wage bill, you're wasting your time. Maybe last summer, it would have been possible because, you know, Bowie had no leash on him and he had no, he wanted Ronaldo and he wanted Neymar and he wanted... You know, he wanted the big Galactico and he had no leash. This man was just... All-Stars FC. All-Stars FC, MLS All-Stars. And we had you know, Champions League. Yeah, so. and we had Champions League. This It's not going to happen. So that's why I didn't even bother bringing it up because it's just, it's not even worth worth anybody's time. But it's an interesting one. Let me go through um, the Super Chats before we keep it moving. There's a, there's a nice option that people keep mentioning in the chat um, in Eze for, um, from Palace. What... What would you guys think of that option, Eze? I like Eze is a great player. I Eze, like Eze is a really, really, very, good. very He's tiny very player. Good. I'm surprised we haven't no actually been linked to him. To be honest, no, no one's no one's <coughs> mentioned him at all. <coughs> yeah. yeah, he's he's, he's a very talented player. player. Yeah, to play yeah. in that potential ten role, I'm kind of surprised nobody's um. Eze is very good, actually. Yeah. So so good for Crystal Palace. Mm. The way he dribbles, the way he passes, his vision. Um, He's good. Yeah. Uh, things got to happen, though, Matisse. Things got to mm. happen. We need some players in. Um, and Kunku is a particular player. I think we all sort of thought Max, maybe a couple of weeks, he might be gone. But mm. the fact that he's now potentially four months, people are looking at about 16 weeks. And the other factor is Nkunku is someone, whether we like it or not, like he's someone who can play in few positions as well, like yeah, yeah. central attacking midfield, out wide. You know what I mean? Like as 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 a false nine. I know we don't like it, but he can play there. Mm. So you're actually now missing out on three yeah. players, yeah, for four months. Yeah. So we 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 need help. We need mm. help immediately. Sure. Um, and and. Uh, we can get Kudus, Kudus would be a mad one, but that would ruin it with Brighton, I think, with, with Caicedo. Um, and then worst, we can't even get Caicedo. But... Worst case scenario, we don't get Caicedo, just screw it and hijack Kudus, just, just that was spite. But mm. you reckon, would we last the entire Premier League season without a proper defensive no. midfielder? No, but it'd be a punch in, in, in Brighton's face. And I'll be happy. No, we need to get... Bro, they'll finish it. ahead of us. <laughs> we, need to, we need to get Kaite. <laughs> they'll punch oh, us. Like, there, were, there, were people, there, were, there was people like, what? So you don't want top... Like you just said, you don't want top players? You want to finish eighth? I was like... Do I look like do I look like I want to finish eighth? <laughs> Wait, did you did you see my watch alongs last season? <laughs> you think I want to finish eighth? I want Caicedo. That's a top player. Do you know what I'm saying? I just want mm. top players that are going to be available. I know it's crazy. <laughs> it's a crazy thought, but I want top players that also play games because there's no point having top players and the shirt and the name at the back and, and then they're in the medical room. And they're, they're, you can pile everybody up in the medical room and it looks great on, on FIFA. But in terms of our starting 11, <laughs> it's going to be the same problems that you were complaining about a couple of weeks ago if these people can't stay fit. So for me, I, I, I'd rather I'd rather get people that can actually, um, I know, can can stay keep themselves fit in the Premier League. Um, Sanchez, Reese, Silva, Carwell, Chile, Enzo, Gallagher, Matson, Sterling, Mudrick, Jackson. And that is the predicted lineup. I think he's going to get the edge over Carney maybe in that 10 role. Interesting. It's a possibility, you know. Interesting shout. I'm not going to lie. I uh, has this guy said uh, Enzo in the ten? Did he? No, no. The super Matson. Mm. Oh, I actually had Matson, but some people were actually telling me why not Enzo? Right? He wants to play a little bit more advanced. Mm. Uh, I saw Vince advocating for that on Twitter. Actually, yeah, it might have been actually Vince. And I was just thinking, <clears throat> like, if we do, I, I like Enzo a little bit deeper, so he can then progress. Yeah. From a from a six to an eight to a ten, as opposed yeah. to be at a ten where he's looking for the ball to come to him, and who's it going to be that's going to give him the ball? <coughs> Gallagher. I don't really trust Gallagher to be the deepest midfielder. So yeah, exactly. uh, my preference is definitely Martin. Play Martin in that area. Yeah, but I feel like Poch is going to go with Chukomeka. 
Mm. Which um, Chuk Chukamika needs. He's another one of those ball carriers. Needs to lift his head and look for options. The threaded pass. Because no point in having Jackson up front and not releasing him. Yeah, Bruh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no. Might as well just put Jackson in the bench and just play with another midfielder. Do you know what I mean? So uh, the one positive Carney has. Now, the one positive Carney has um, that could work <coughs> as a solution, depending on how Liverpool actually set up, is how surprisingly technical at his feet he can be. I wasn't expecting that from Chukwuma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right? No, he's really how good. How quick he can be at tight spaces. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yep. if he's in the box, then he combines with Jackson just there. Fine. I would um, play both. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just but, just put, but, put put Sterling to the bench. <clears throat> but Eunice, I say against Liverpool. You have to release Jackson early. You do because Liverpool are going to try and play higher. It, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have I to hope. find someone like Enzo deep in out half. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Boom! That ball yeah. through be, and Jackson in be behind. The, there'll be the centre backs doing that as well. Don't S- Silver, Colwell, yeah, yeah. Silver, 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 Colwell. Yeah. My, my, as someone mentioned in the chat, I think it's a great point. My problem with Enzo playing in the ten is I don't trust him with his back to play. And of course. Ju- like I just never, I've never seen Enzo do that before. I just don't. No. I just wouldn't. I don't think he's done that. that. No, I, I for me personally, I just don't. I don't see a future there for for him. I would rather him play in the eight, play a bit deeper, next to that sitter, kind of in that Cesc Fabregas next to Matic mm-hmm. role. That's where I, I see him. Um, yeah. For me, I don't think Enzo has kind of got the legs and like the the the, the ball carrying ability to play in in the ten. That's for me. I just don't. I don't see that. Um, Enzo is not. Like a Jao Felix in the in the half space waiting for the ball, and he turns right. Yeah, like yeah, we've yeah. seen Jao Felix. He's the one that gives that. it into the half space. Yeah, he's he's the one who gives it into the half space. Exactly. Mm. So, yeah. um, uh, I I feel like Martin, he has the capacity. Do you guys remember in the preseason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that assist. that goal that yeah that assist that started from Chassere Cassidy. He mm. puts a ball through to Martin in that half space. Martin turns, looks up, sees release. Nicola, a release, yeah. Yeah. straight up. And yeah. then obviously Nicholas Jackson scores the goal and then tells him, Martin, trust me more, trust mm. me more. So I think Martin understands. I truly do think he understands Nicholas Jackson a <coughs> lot more. I think mm. that could be something there. Um, this, let me go to this one. Uh, Adams, and we've got um, Le- Leslie as well. We're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about him in a minute. Uh, Santos, Ca- uh, Caicedo. You guys fear stockpiling. Um, I mean, we're probably already past that point. I mean, we just have to hope that we have enough multi clubs in the model to actually send everybody out. But in terms of uh, the squad numbers, did anybody see Leslie get in the sixteen and think he's going to stay, or is that just? I feel like it's just precaution. But I don't Lewis Hall got a number. Yeah, yeah. Lewis Hall got a number go last wrong. season. Ampadu got a number as well. I think I heard. Yeah, but you look at nothing. some others like Bergstrom got a number, Beach got a number. So it's like there's our players there that I think will go on loan. Yeah, 100%. he's one of them for sure. For, for sure, sure, for sure. Um, Chukum, uh, sorry, not Chukumika, Uga Chuku. He's uh, also, I think, Strasbourg. Strasbourg. Down. That was the whole yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Strasbourg. He's not played a preseason match as well, which is a massive disadvantage to him. Yeah. So, but and now, I, in. now, now, our brother Angelo has gone out there. That's got confirmed. <laughs> I had to say, I had to say goodbye to him. That wasn't easy. Well, that was I was. I was I was referring to you, Matisse, on my video yesterday that you would have been happy to see David Washington possibly going there. I was saying to my to my <laughs> viewers that Matisse would be saying right now, oh, he's got a mate there now. He's got a friend, <laughs> another Brazilian friend to hang out Everybody with. Everybody expected Declan Rice and Mason Mount, and it turned out to be fucking Denzel Washington and Angelo. Do you know how mad that is? Uh, they're <laughs> going to play football. equalizer three over there. <laughs> you can't predict football, man. I'm telling you, you actually can't. Um, but Miz, I know you're you're a fan of um, Tyler Adams, so you must be actually quite happy with this news of this link. Look, not like over the moon that mm. oh, you know, don't worry about Caicedo. Tyler Adams is yeah, not yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Not like that, but I rate him America. because I I, I, I watched uh, Leeds. Uh, I've, I've always watched Leeds. I thought they were entertaining. I know they leak a lot of goals. Um, yeah, they were very Tyler- entertaining. Yeah, very. If you guys remember um, <laughs> last season, Thomas Tuchel was around. Was it last season? Yeah, it was we got slapped season. up by them. Yeah. We got slapped up. 
Three him, and, him and Rocco put, put yeah. together a nice Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyler, we got actually dealt with. Was it not like, we, what did we lose? 3-0? 3-0. 3-1. Bro, we got destroyed. 3-0, oh, 3-1, three three one, something like that. Yeah. But Tyler Adams, I remember in the midfield, absolutely ate up the field. He just mm. ate it all up. And then I saw Tyler Adams in the World Cup for USA. He did he really well there. And um, yeah, so for cap- me... He's really captain. He's captain. He's USA captain. He's, you know, mm. he's, he's got that leadership experience as well so for me 20 million release clause the relegation release clause makes sense my, my only issue is he's also right now injured so yes. he's got a hamstring issue but this is not as serious that's as, not bad yeah yeah it's not as serious as alisa where he tore his hamstring he's going to be back but adams is another one and I, he won't be a he, starter he won't be a starter and he hasn't had a preseason as well so yeah no, no just hope with the tyler adams thing we don't end up with the whole hounding of the US American fan base like we did with Pulisic towards the end. Oh, we will. Like, oh my God, this guy's got to play, man. Oh my God. God, God diggity man. dog. It's fucking Tyler Adams on the bench again. Goddamn. <laughs> How many times? How many Damn, goddamn Chelsea times football am club, I going to see Tyler Adams on the bench? This guy should be started. <laughs> this guy should be started. He should be captain. He should be leading these guys Jesus, out on that field. Funny. He should be Matisse leading these guys out on that field. God damn. God damn. It's probably a shit accent, but you know. <laughs> you got a well, damn pack, bro. The Americans. No, but they butcher us. Don't feel bad. It's fine. Yeah, they yeah, think we yeah. all drink tea. <laughs> <laughs> We've always got to have one American in this team. We've got an American ownership. We keep going over to America. One thing I will ask of the Americans, because I was over there. You guys are wonderful. We was there uh, when we was in New York. Yeah. Please, they're a vibe. They are a vibe. Please stop giving us dodgy pitches. Please. Stop oh, throwing concerts man. before we play. Stop going in there with pitchforks and digging up the pitch before we go on. It's really given us a lot of stress and injuries. Please, just fix your pitches. That's all I ask. Just do, do better with the pitches. Most of their most of their stadiums are immaculate, so I don't know why we keep getting the Sunday League ones. It's really look annoying. that that pitch was horrendous, no <laughs> doubt about that. But I just need to say that injury for uh, Nkunku, I don't think was I'm blaming the, the pitch. pitch. I'm blaming. Uh, yeah, I don't think that, that was, was a hit. It was a tackle. It was, it was a tackle from the back <laughs> that got his knee. It should have been a penalty, but it doesn't really matter. Who cares? He's mm-hmm. now gone for four months. Um, yeah. But yeah, the, the, you know why playing such pitches as well? It's mad. Truly, yeah. is mad. Hundred um, percent. Let's see. So, uh, thoughts on Eze as an Nkuku replacement? Yeah, we mentioned him um, earlier with uh, some of the suggestions in the chat and. I think Eze, the, the, the thing is with him is he's going to cost a lot. I don't know what his contract is at Palace, but and the whole the whole kind of thing with Alicia as well is that he's meant to be some sort of release clause. Or, I don't know, though. I, it's, the, 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 the clause, Yeah, the clause and the fee for Alicia is very, very unclear and uncertain. So I'm not really sure how much he's going to cost. But Eze, Eze certainly doesn't have a clause, so he's going to cost he's going to cost. He'll probably lot. ask for 100 million like the others are. Yeah, I think I think the draw with the Alicia's and the Kudis's and the Cherkies is that they can play wide. And they can play yeah. central, whereas Alicia he's only really going to play. Sorry, um, Eze is only really going to play central. So that's probably the difference between the targets. I'd say as well. Um, guys, we need a uh, Cam ASAP thoughts, brother. Roman, I, I've left it with I've left it with the higher powers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. know who who we, I, I I want I w- I would like Turkey, but. I, you're saying there's attitude issues or I'd love dis- disciplinary issues as the but, Yeah, what's yeah, this attitude the, issue, Eunice? I've not heard of it. He kisses his teeth I, sometimes I, or something. I, I'll be going? honest. I'll be honest, I'm not surprised. I, I know the type. Like <laughs> as in like Al- uh, Algerian background or something. Yeah, Young I know Algerian. the type in France. I know what might be the sort of vibe he I know. And mm. yeah, it's not ideal sometimes. But he's young. I think it's something you end up growing out of. Mm. But if he's got it now, it's a case of you know those. There are. Um, Is there any like player there, comparison you could give? That imagine, similar? imagine Hazard. Do you remember how Adel lazy Tar- Hazard Adel was? Tarab? Uh. Tarab, there's another one. Exactly. It, it, there's a vibe. There's that sort of vibe, but. Um, I think I sat that age. The one good thing that he has is just the fact he's a really good player. Yeah, he's mm. a baller. But that can have a counter effect where sometimes a player of that age and of that background and mentality, I can understand he might think right now he is the shit. He is the shit. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what oh, I mean? Yes, remember Hatim Ben guy. Alpha? Hatim Ben. Uh... There's, there's yeah. examples out there, man. You know that, yeah, basically. It could be that sort of thing. But I the think. Premier, the Premier League is a humbler, though. 
It is, it is, but mm. this is where you have to take into context is he ready for that humbling? He's young, yeah, yeah, he's young, he's young. It's, it's a case of maybe later down the line, this is something to re explore, mm. but maybe not yet. And Laurent Blanc might actually have a point in his whole analysis of give it another year, he might actually be right. So, mm. and Laurent Blanc also said that, well, not really said, but I think he is trying to sort of put it out there is that. Leon should keep him because next season, if he blows up, yeah. he's going to be worth double the money. So yeah, yeah don't shortchange yourself now. Wait. Mm. Um, and then people that want Shirky don't want Jean Felix. Like there's the issue with, you know, uh, the work rate as well. Ryan Shirky is not someone who's known for his That's it. work rate. So yeah. if you don't want Jean Felix because of his work rate, then surely you're not going to want a younger Shirky. Mm. Yeah. I think because of my, my, my hope was always that Shirky could be kind of like, that could be kicked out of him by Poch. Whereas mm. Jao, Jao feels like that is him now. You know, that's his, that's his, that's his style. Um, there's a lot of people online calling for Jao Felix. Again, because we're not linked and I don't think we're going to get linked. It's kind of not as, as not as, it's not out. It's not like the name R one, but it's, it's also still very distant in my opinion. Poch Poch literally had the opportunity to keep him and he chose mm. not to. That was a that was a choice. You know, Todd Bowie, Mendez, great relationship, build the team around him, talk. Um, maybe Lampard, maybe, you know, gave a couple of, you know, messages and said, listen, this guy's off the ball work right in there. Mm. Whatever it is, he's not been a, a target all summer. He's potentially going to Saudi now because there's nobody coming in for him. I don't see us paying a Fletico, what they want, which is a lot plus the wages. I'm sure he'll take a wage to, um, cut because he's literally on his last legs now in terms of options. But yeah, I, I can't see that happening either. But geez, I think he he was Vivelle's guy. I think yeah, he was yeah, yeah. I think Vivelle's I think guy. I read somewhere that he was as well. I think I read somewhere and that Vivelle liked him as well. Now that Vivelle's gone, yeah, that thing is gone. Yeah, like, I can't I see think... like Win Stanley thinking that. Nah, they don't. Is, is that, yeah, they don't. I can't I can't see that. So. And I, I'm not even blaming them because I can see like faults in Felix's game, but I do, yeah. I do like Felix. I still like Felix, even though yeah, Felix is one of those players. He's got faults, he's got problems, but I still, I, he's, he's, you he's, compensate. You he's compensate. my, he's my problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's my problem. <laughs> it's my problem. Yeah. It's my problem. <laughs> but but I'm not encouraging us to go for him because I don't feel like, I don't feel like it, whatever his price point is, which is probably high. I don't feel like that's good value for money along with whatever wages he's going to be. I just don't feel like, I don't feel like he should be our top target at this point, unless we're getting on a loan. Maybe I think a loan deal would probably be as long as they don't, again, they charge yeah, us loan. Those, those, those loan fees, man, they charge a flat code. They, <laughs> they, they really be charging. We, we got a whole player for that loan fee. That's like a Brazilian wonder kid. Exactly. You know I mean? That is the, well. that is the next, that's a Neymar regen for, yeah. for, for, a for one loan. season, for no. one season. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Who are we? Are we are we are we a halal trying to take Mbappe on a on a one year for <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who do we think we are? Um, I don't understand how Atletico yeah. can afford 30 million a year for Simeone. It's probably yeah. all those loan oh, fees. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But no. but if Felix came back on loan, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say no. But I'm also like if Poch doesn't want him, then I'm not saying yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I am a little bit surprised how uh, this not. guy like I, I saw your oh, you mean uh, just the, the wider wider kind of reach there's nobody coming in for him yeah, yeah. like yeah, yeah, i I'm saw your um the gif the other day like stock stock the stocks crashing. yeah man the stocks have crashed <laughs> on felix <laughs> Ramble. Crashing, but it Crazy. went straight down the floor yeah, into yeah, the is, into yeah. the gutter yeah i don't get it man like jao felix is a damn good player man he i enjoyed play. watching him last season i know he would was, you guys do you, know would you guys mean? agree he got unlucky with some of the finishes last season? Yeah, he did. Yeah, hitting, you know, the post hitting the post and, a lot. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like from the moment he joined, people didn't want him to do well because he was oh. coming in and it was this whole Mason Mount position. versus Felix, yeah. and it was like from the get go, people just didn't want him to do well. So anytime he didn't do something perfect, they were on him straight away. Forget the context of coming into an unstable team and all that stuff. No one cares about that when it's Felix. They were straight onto him immediately, but. I saw signs. I, I can't sit here and say that I didn't see signs of potential from him where with the right players around him and with the right manager and stability, I feel like, you know, he could provide something. But yeah, man, I, it's, it's it's a bit of a shame. But apparently Fabrizio... Yeah, some latest on um, 
Is this, is this, is this something Adams, important or is this? Oh, is this? Oh, it's Tyler Adams. Oh, okay. looks like he's he's going. You know, happen. you know, people just be shouting for Britsio just any time he tweets, yeah, regardless of what he says. Yeah. He could be you saying. I say they'll just sign the same thing. Yeah, He'll yeah. say the same thing. Um, oh. I'll read it out, even though it's probably exactly what we've already read. It's the read. same. Um, it's, the same. <laughs> it's the same. But but for them, it's like cracks. We have to read this out. Like a lot of people <laughs> are like, wait, wait, for Brit, for Brit. <laughs> give it to me. Give it. Give it. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's the dopamine hit. It's the dopamine hit for them, man. Yo, just, that is got... the... <laughs> we have to read it out. Okay? <laughs> Inject it into my veins. <laughs> <laughs> it's <so> fabulous. <laughs> so, Fabrizio's uh, tweet. This is what it says. Uh, for those that absolutely must know, um, <laughs> uh, understand Chelsea are now actively working on Tyler Adams' deal. Talks ongoing between clubs and personal deal, personal terms are being discussed. Again, not linked with Caicedo. It's a separate deal. Um, the, as Caicedo insists since um, Sunday, he didn't play as he wants to leave and join Chelsea. So it's exactly what we already know. The two deals are not linked, thankfully, because that would be terrible. And um, yeah, listen, if he comes in as a second second option, then then fair enough. You know, He's, he's a good player. I just hope that Santos doesn't get rubbed out here and sent on loan because I really do want Santos to stay. Um, nah, he can't go on loan. We still need him to stay. I'm pretty yeah, he's sure got to stay. stay. Like, we can't, we can't yeah. have... I, Santos I, will still have rotational peace with Enzo. He'll, he'll, he'll get minutes. He'll get minutes. Don't worry, Matisse. Our boy will get minutes. I've already lost you one know. Brazilian. I don't want to lose another one. Do you know what I'm no, saying? No, no, it's, no, no, just, no. it's getting... <clears throat> He'll, he'll stay and he'll get minutes. Digging a piss in. Sure. <laughs> uh, I'm, just, I'm just concerned yeah. that... Can someone find out in the live chat or even you boys... Is Tyler Adams fit now? Like, is he yeah, ready he, to he's play? He's also got yeah a little bit of an injury background as like, well. I just but... need to know: can he actually play now? Because <laughs> I need players that can play now. <laughs> don't tell me about September because mm. by then I don't know how many L's we might have picked up. Like, mm. Tell me now. Bro, tell me now. Facts. <laughs> yeah. You need to. I want us to get off to a good start, man. I, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to get over comfortable with with the preseason. Um, Chelsea and I are actively working on Tyler Adams between club and player. Yeah. So um, let's see. So uh, in terms of duh, 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 Vlavic, yes, Vlavic is too slow for the Premier League. I feel the flop. He fills the flop. He doesn't. I feel he, the flop. He doesn't think the flop. He feels the flop. He feels he, it, bro. He, he feels, feels it deep within him. He that's feels. what. That's, levels of flop. Yeah, that is <laughs> that is some next level shit. That's deep. That's deep. <laughs> you don't like Vlavic. You don't. Like <laughs> Uh, man, I just realized TT talent ID was so horrendous. All his signings are massive failures. Um, Sterling, Kukurea, Kulabali, Abamyang, Lukaku, point, Saul. Man. Yeah, bro. It's a point. <laughs> Listen, one thing I've never said is give TT the, 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 the keys to the signings. Never. It's never come out of my mouth. you got to build. He wanted it. No, he doesn't. He but that's the thing. He, he always he said. Want... It was always reported he didn't want that responsibility. He didn't want to put a scouting team around him. Now, I know that yeah. Bayern, on the last day of the season, started sacking a whole heap of people. I don't know if they've let TT loose at the, at the will, which is probably what they have done, because all the links are Premier League links. If that's what they've done, then God rest their soul. Do you know what I'm saying? Then, then good yeah. luck. Good, good yeah. luck. <laughs> people need to understand, if it was up to TT, <clears throat> Rudiger doesn't go. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, Christensen probably doesn't go, because yeah. he liked both of them. Yeah, so we wouldn't have been going after Kulabali and we Fafana in the first place. Can you be. imagine the situation potentially we'd be in with, with not even recruiting Fafana or Kulabali and we would have potentially had Rudiger and Christensen? They'd probably be here right now. No, no, we'd yeah. still have a similar team to what we had before. It would be mad, isn't it? It's crazy. Havertz, Havertz will still be here. Mount will still be here. <laughs> All these, these guys will still be here. Yes. I'm pretty sure. It's actually yeah, mad. I mean, I don't want to do the revisionism right now, but I, I just find it very disingenuous when people consistently keep bashing Thomas Tuchel. Like, just rejoice the happy moments that he gave us. Why are mm -hmm. we so caught up on, oh, look at who he Wait, bought the thing is, you, you can, any manager who's done incredibly well for us, apart from probably Ancelotti, I think he's the only exception. You can go to Mourinho and say you sold one matter, two-time player of the year. You didn't yeah. give Salah and De Bruyne opportunities. Like, we can do it with every great manager, but there really isn't any point because they did... Their greatness exceeds exceeds exactly. whatever errors they made. No matter what I think of his recruitment, I would never take away that Champions League for better recruitment. Exactly. Because that but Champions they're... League is just too few and far between. You just don't know when you're going to get one of those. They're too rare. So Bro, for me... That, 
You know Entire I mean? run, boys. Like that's when Eunice was doing watch alongs. I still remember his watch alongs will pop off, and and the excitement that both Matisse and Eunice and myself, the entire Champions League campaign when Tuchel took over. Mm. That, that was, was a vibe. That was, <laughs> that was the serious. Vibe. That's that life. Vibe. That is life. <laughs> for me, the boys did give know, everything. They the gave boys everything. gave everything. We, if you look at the stats, like our oh bro, uh, we, we like, were brilliant. And XG all was games. XG off the through charts. the roof. For, for, bro, the Graham, roof. Graham Potter would have been proud, bro. Yeah, the XG yeah. was high. The, the boys were given everything. It was, it was, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. And that final, man. Oh my oh. god. Oh, yeah, that Champions League final. So here we are. Want to keep bashing, you know, Thomas Tuchel for, for <clears throat> I don't even know if he, he even knew what was going on. They told him, "Who do you want?" Like, you know, we got Kukura. You want him? Yeah, yeah, get him in. Like, he said it from the get go. I don't want to be part of this transfer business. I'm <laughs> here to coach. You get me players, I'll coach. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's honestly for a second. Stop, like, smashing him for these sort of things. Just focus on the good things that he gave us, man. So many good things as well. Champions League, Club World Cup, Super Cup. Come mm. on, man. Two finals. He nearly, he nearly won everything but the Prem in 18 months. Yeah. It's crazy. Should have got the FA Cup and the Carabao yeah. Cup. The Carabao oh, Cup was have. actually robbed because Lukaku's goal was onside. Yeah. And we and lost some penalties in both of them. Yeah. Yeah. We could have easily, we could have easily that season won. What four cups in sanctions in in, sanctions. in in Lukaku drama? We could have won four trophies in one season: two domestic cups and two, you know, one European and one world world, you know, cup, and then club world cup, and then it would have just been the Premier League left. Left. We almost did in eighteen months what Klopp took seven years to do. Yeah. That's how I always relay it because we yeah. would have been one Premier League away from winning everything. There's nothing else to win. And Matisse, don't forget, yeah. this was the same team that Frank Lampard said is not ready to compete. Mm, mm. And this guy came Great. in and just changed things around. Yeah. I... Now I understand why Vitamins FC gets so rattled about his exit. Fucking sold Tommy Tuchel, man. It's ridiculous. So it sounds... <laughs> <laughs> I heard my is also being investigated by Premier League for fraudulent chili consuming. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm... I'm it, bruv... I need to stay away from all the hot food this season, man. I don't know why I keep getting left with 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 this with with this stuff. It's just a, every platform I go to, I seem to I seem to be eating these these. You just end up suffering. Foods. Yeah, man. They're not even. You can't even consume these foods. It's, it should be borderline illegal. Um, me and um, Chuku want our apologies after the Liverpool game. About what? what about what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, as in, are you are, as in, are you are you are you playing? <laughs> as in, is T one saying that he's going to play right? We're not rating Chukumika. We think, are rating I him. I think he was saying, but maybe because Matson, you said that he plays that pass more than than Carney. But that's just that's just true. No, well, why take it personally, bro? <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe they're friends. <laughs> <laughs> why are you see. taking things personally? Listen, you will you will apologize. <laughs> <laughs> big, up, big up dream team if Brighton continues to get rougher um, um, over Casado. Um, wouldn't Florent, um, Florentino Louise work well as cheaper option? Former Enzo partner. Yeah, um, do you know what? He's never really been mentioned, which is weird. Um, I remember Grizz was mentioned. Yeah, what's the reason? Yeah, what's the reason? Oh, oh very, very Costa. Sorry, very Costa. Oh, no, no, no. I, I yeah. went in the direction of we're getting Kaiseido. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're, you're really confident, Kaiseido, aren't you? Yeah. Like, you're just like... We're getting Kaiseido. No, we have... Like, I mean, we how can no, we not actually have to? We can't. He is already is, a is, Chelsea there, player. Yeah. Do, do you know why we have to? It's because we took <laughs> we took Sanchez off them. We have to leave with Kaiseido. I refuse to take their backup keeper for good money and then not get not get their... Not get their I wonder if Kaiseido starts against Luton this weekend for Brighton. No. That would be interesting. Not in the not in the right headspace. He's too. He's no already chance. packed. He's packed his bags. No he's chance. in London and he's waiting. That's it. Yeah. Done. Gotta but, let um, him go. Gotta let him go. But um, yeah, no. Florentino Louise is an interesting option. I'm just taking a look at some of his um statistics. They look pretty promising in terms of the tackles, interceptions, the headers, the aerial duels, one, the progressive passing. It looks it's actually been, quite. Yeah. These Benfica brothers are not. They don't mess about, bro. They're good. Mm. Like Portuguese, like. Um, DMs, yeah. defenders, not bad. 
And and Enzo would be over the moon, I'm sure, if they're if they're good if they're good pals. Imagine <laughs> the guy that was holding it down next to you is now joining joining you the the following year. But um, mm. no, nah, but listen, I, I'm not really doing the alternatives because Brighton are. This is this is a personal now. We have to get this done. <laughs> I'm not walking away. This has to be wrapped up. It has to. Um, I, I genuinely think what's holding things up now isn't really the Caicedo stuff. It's Brighton trying to sort their 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 act now. In, if Caicedo does go, replacement, what they're going to do. I genuinely think now more concentrations on that rather than actually getting a deal done because I think that's mm. that's that's going to be easy now. Yeah, um, I would think. If this guy's got 120 million release clause, don't even talk to me about him. <laughs> Less than that. But do you know what? Who's worse to deal with, Rui Costa or Bloom? Bloom. Bloom's worse. Do you think? Because uh, Rui, Rui Costa, Costa was bad. bad so. Rui Costa was a bad man. He was, he a, was bad a bad man. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. but I th- I feel like I feel like um, Rui Costa was more honest, despite being tough. You just knew what you were getting. With Bloom, it's just that the picture changes every single 24 hours. Well, they've got all these directors and kit man and gardening, um, you know, brothers that are just coming out and speaking publicly saying, oh, CEO, <laughs> one director. I mean, yeah, I put, I put on Twitter, I'm, I'm looking forward to what the groundsman and the canteen staff have to say. Yeah, about, bro, like there's the going to be right up it's... with the Sky Sports mics chatting on Kaiseido bro. soon. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. <laughs> It's actually crazy. So, yeah, I get I get your point. It's, it is it is a saga. But the other one, we can't. That was a saga. We we had that to walk away. We had to walk away from that deal in January. Yeah. Fly everybody to Portugal, butcher yeah. all of our outgoing deals for loans, and get that done on the final hours. Like it was it was mm. rough. And and there's, there was even rumors of a, of a close to physical altercation in in the flipping room with with Bedad. And I mean th- that's how deep it got. <laughs> And and Enzo apparently played a huge part. Like he threatened Rui Costa that, yeah. like, let yeah. me go or else I'm not playing for Benfica again. And I think um, that super agent was also what's his name, Jorge. What's his name? Can't that Portuguese that. super agent. Uh, oh man, why is this guy's name not in my head? Not George Mendes. Mendes. It's not George Mendes. Mendes. Sorry. Oh, it's George, George Mendes. Mendes. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, jo- oh. George Mendes was um, heavily involved. Would I have any sort of super agents in this whole Caicedo piece. So no no no. Um but can we hire Mendes you... for like 48 hours? <laughs> you know he'd get the job done. When you look he'd at when you look done. at the um the price points, both these directors are getting their bag. Like oh, hundred. Enzo wasn't cheap. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. Like we had to pay we paid the release clause, no? Yeah, we paid yeah. more. I think a little bit more. We paid more. The structure. We That's paid more for the structure. So, yeah. yeah. Right. Right now, obviously, Bloom and Brighton feel worse, but Benfica were bastards. Like it was more than the release clause. World record fee for a midfielder or world record fee for a player in the Premier League. Like it was. He's the most expensive player in the Premier League, period. Ever. It's yeah. a lot. Of, we we. It was a lot of money, so yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, it depends on when this one gets done, but it is, it's 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 close. Um, we need to get Caicedo done, then attack Kudus. That would be the ultimate middle finger to Brighton, Jesus Christ. Um, Bayern should already know to not trust TT targets. Um, they they may not know. Um, don't tell them. Do not say a word. Um, confidence going to Liverpool. Score predictions. What are we thinking, boys? Four nil. What would you say? Four nil. What? He's not with Did us. Did you just say four <laughs> nil? He's actually he's actually not with us. I am surprised a video has not gone up saying we're gonna win the league. I'm actually still waiting for it. Oh, no, that's coming in the draft that's already. Coming. It's in the draft. Coming. He's just waiting when to release it. Let me see if George has done one. George, George always. George always no, without George, fail. George was actually quite wise this time. I was surprised. Nah, George is gonna put one out. George, uh, George is no, gonna... he put a Premier League predictions out. Oh, did he? Yeah, oh, he did. yeah, I was, he did, I was he did. shocked. And we're not, and we're not first. <laughs> we're not first. <laughs> we're not first. Okay, I'm but like, that, George, what that, are you doing? That, that that video might be. That's a serious video. There's gonna be a video that says we're gonna win the league. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can say it the Gerard way as well. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Fuck, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I can't believe he's in Saudi Arabia, Steven Gerrard. That's mad. That is actually mad. Yeah, of oh, course. Dear. But um, my score prediction 
two two. Two two. Come on, have a day off. I'm gonna go two have one. Have a day off. <laughs> Two one Chelsea. I need a win. I don't care. I'm not taking a draw in this game. I want to win. Start as we mean to go on. Um, you've already given yours, no? <laughs> oh, you want to have another dig now? <laughs> I have another one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I genuinely believe that we will win. I'm I'm gonna go three two. We're going to win the quadruple. <laughs> wow. And we'll win the quadruple. It'll be a blockbuster. We're going to win the quadruple. How many trophies are win? Three. <laughs> <laughs> I think Liverpool will score, but I think they'll leave themselves exposed. They don't look good defensively at all, man. See, mm. th this is why I've gone with two, two, because I feel like our defence is good. I feel like our defence should be better than theirs. It is. It, it is it better is. than theirs. But, but the goalkeeper... It, yeah. Not just that. It's just we will... I feel like their attack will allow them to dilly-dally around our area yeah. too often. They've got enough. a better attack. We've got a better defence. They've got a shit defence. We've got a better... We've got That's a, what I'm thinking. We've got a attack, yeah. Cancel and each other out with a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Because I feel like Nicholas Jackson can do some damage to that defence. Mudrick should be doing damage as well. Damage, yes. Serious damage. Like that, le uh, that, that left-hand side, that right-back spot, I'm expecting carnage. If I don't get carnage over there, something's gone wrong. Bro, he has to look at whoever is that right back, whether it's Trent Alexander or whoever. He needs to blow that side up. Absolutely <laughs> rip it apart. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm looking forward to them playing a high line because we should try and find some space in behind. They don't really play any, they don't play any other line. That they are that's their They don't have way. any other line. They don't it have is the high line. line. They it's just play line the high or no line. line. There is <laughs> sometimes they do play with no line. Do you know what I'm saying? That is yeah, that is that, it. that's when it gets wild. Real yeah, Madrid style. <laughs> um, and and um Mudrick, Jackson, Pace. Yeah, bro. We should. Yeah. We should. Mm. Yeah, this time so we actually cool. have someone that can finish. So Yeah, we do. We do. We do have someone that can finish. We it's should be three nil up at half time. If Nkuku was, was out there, then we'd have two people that you know can, can put the ball in the back of the net, which would have been yeah. un, unthinkable. I think I think they realised that, listen, we, we we are used to having no finishers. So to give us two is too much. You know, it's, it's too much of a good thing. So they just said, we'll take away one. You can have one now. Enjoy. We'll bring the second one later. You know, so, yeah. My, all, all... my eyes will be on Sterling, though. I'm just worried that some of these counter-attacks that we potentially might have... Mm. Sterling will be looking to drive straight into Van Dijk. Like he won't be. He, 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 he don't, he's going to start. He's going to start. He's going to start. He's gonna start. He's gonna start. Can, nah, I'm looking forward to seeing Sterling and looking at him on the bench. He will start. He will start. I think. I, but I'm hopefully, 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 I don't know. I feel like he'll start. But we we have to take advantage with the left and the middle. Their middle is it's non-existent. They don't have a holding midfielder. Don't they don't even have a Santos, so we should be carving them open. If we're yeah. not, then um, then we're missing the trick. But uh, we're gonna wrap up, people. Smash up the likes, subscribe if you haven't. Miz, let the people know where to find you, bro. It's been a pleasure. Great show. Yeah, man. Great show once again. Uh, the other side of the coin. I think we're about less than four hundred away from twenty-seven. So let's get there. Let's try and get to that thirty. That's that's a big one that I'm looking forward to. So um, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, two pieces of content, but a whole heap of things lined up, man. I've got some mad stuff lined up for this upcoming season, so subscribe. There you are. Eunice, let the people know where to find you, bro. It's been a pleasure. Great show. Yeah, bro, it has. Looking forward to it. Next time we will be here, it will be talking after the first game of that season, and we'll see where mm, we stand, wow. and hopefully we've caused the biggest shock, and everyone's jaws will drop to the floor while we're all <laughs> smiling with sunglasses on, going, ha, we told you so. Mm. <laughs> so um... <laughs> Yo, Eunice is going to be on violence so fast. Oh, we right. we right. start well, first five games, Eunice is on violence. If if we beat Liverpool, considering we've got Nkunku out and we've got Anthony Taylor refing and all of this going on, no for far, no Caicedo, no Caicedo. Oh my god! Yeah, do, do, you, know, do yeah. you know what? For me, I've got PTSD. So up until Christmas, I'm gonna be calm because Christmas always messes everything up. We've been top of the league twice under Lampard and Tuchel, remember? And we've mm. got to Christmas and everything's gone wrong. Christmas. Always ruins everything. Yeah. I'm just going to be calm all throughout. I'm, I'm just uh, my expectation. I know you guys are expecting a lot more. Like for me, just come top five. Like 
Yeah, top five. I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even be upset if he comes sixth because nah, I need fifth. we finished twelfth. <laughs> it's your first season for Poch. Um, so I'm calm. Anything above that is a bonus, absolute bonus. Mm. Winning the league. <laughs> <laughs> I love well, it. I love it. You've got your, you got your two that. polar, polar a, opposites in terms of. We got. Um, a, we got. A, we got to bring. Look, we, we were missing the vibe so much last season. Like we are starved. So I'm bringing extra vibes this time around. I'm I think if if we were in Europe, I would understand maybe top six, but because we're not in Europe, fifth fifth minimum for me. Got to be fifth. Got to be so champion. Playing league. one game a week, exactly. Yeah, we got. We got. We've got to bring league. some players in, though, right? Yeah, we do. No, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Remember, people, the Carabao um, second round, Carabao Cup second round draw. Um, is, that. is is oh, on? Wow. I think is that on tonight? Is it? Um, oh God, is it tonight? You'll be able to are we, see are we Chelsea, playing from second round? Second round, yeah. Chelsea. Yeah, will he finished twelfth. Do you know what? I might even let me see if I can find. Hold on, that's a second. bad. <laughs> that's this, this, I've, I've, this, I've seen the teams that we can play are like flipping. I'm gonna get the list. Uh, what's Harrington, that team? Harrington, that Harrington, Harrington, or Harrington, or Harrington, or... What's that team? Eunice Arkington. Let me. Arkington Stanley. I'll, I'll get a list. I'll get a list. <laughs> so these are the these are the teams in the second round that we could potentially play. We have Plymouth. Uh, oh, yeah, we Plymouth. played them before. We yeah. played them. Yeah, I, I that remember, was. Yeah, yeah. That, the the FA Cup. left. Yeah, that's when Martin um, debuted. I still remember Plymouth. Uh, we have Portsmouth. We know them very well. Pompey. Pompey. Oh, Mason Maybe Mount Mason Mount can be there. Beat them in the FA Cup. <laughs> <laughs> beat them in the FA Cup final. We have Swansea, former Premier League team. Exeter. Yes. Wow. Exeter. Um, Exeter. Not familiar with you lot, but I know who they are. But we've never played them that I can remember. Uh, yeah. Maybe we have, but uh, Ipswich or Bristol Rovers. We've got Newport County. Um, sounds like a, an American uh, state. Um, <laughs> Stevenage. We have Birmingham. We have Sutton United. Um, oh, I hope it's Sutton. Come is that the brother oh, with the pie? With the remember that brother yeah. that was on the bench with the pie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was. It was the pie. The goalkeeper with the pie. Yeah, 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 yeah. against yeah. Arsenal. Yeah, yeah Sutton. Um, we have Wickham. We have Reading. Wimbledon, where they do the That'll tennis. Be even better. No, Wimbledon's got to be Wimbledon. <laughs> That's wow. where they play the tennis. Wimbledon or Coventry. You have Bristol City or Oxford United, the university. Um, you have Gillingham. You have QPR, our fierce rivals. Oh, Norwich. God. No, not QPR. Um, Peterborough, Cardiff, Colchester. Bottom um, line, what you're saying is, it's going to be a nice match. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be there's a one good team fixture. That, there's one team that's not so nice. Bournemouth is in there. Luton, Brentford, Fulham, Crystal Palace, Tottenham and Bournemouth. Tottenham oh, wow. we can draw Tottenham. Tottenham. Tottenham are in there. Tottenham did not qualify for Europe. All the teams that didn't qualify for Europe are... Oh, Tottenham. it's below Europe. I thought it was yeah. below top 10. Yeah, no. Yeah, mm. Tottenham, Tottenham are in there. Imagine we got Spurs. Well, actually, is it, is, it, is it all the teams that are not in Europe that are in the second round? Because I'm there's a lot of teams that are missing in the Premier League here. That's what I'm saying. I thought it was below top 10. Hmm. But... Yeah, no, Tottenham okay. wasn't below top 10. No, Tottenham well, we, did miss out on Europe, though. They, they yeah, finished... they missed out on Europe. They finished eighth. Eighth. Yeah, so it's <laughs> it's eighth and below then. It's got to be. And the top seven come in the third round. So who... Did somebody leave already? Like, what's going on? <laughs> That's not all the Premier League teams, though. So it's... Some... Not? I don't... Th I... It didn't feel like it when I read it out. Let me go to see who else was... Um... It didn't Palestine? feel like it. It's Palestine? People are saying Spurs are the easiest draw. <laughs> guys... um, I didn't read wow. out... I didn't hey. read... I don't know, man. I don't know if you guys have been seeing some of these Ange Postecoglou build-up uh, play that they're Ange doing. Postecoglou. Oh yeah, they've been playing some. They've been playing some good football. I they've been playing good football, but yeah. they bottled it again. It's typical Spurs. Don't be phased. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't read out. I didn't read out <laughs> Wolves. I didn't read out Wolves. I didn't read out. Obviously, West Ham qualify for Europe. I didn't read out um, Forest. I didn't read Palace, out. You didn't read out Palace. Everton. Uh, Palace. Yeah, Palace are there. Though. Palace are there. Oh, um, okay. I didn't read out Everton. I didn't read out Southampton, Leicester, or Leeds. Maybe they were not relegated, the right? Yeah, but oh, did they? No, so, were, yeah, yeah, okay. Were they in the first round? Maybe I don't know. So yeah, there's a they were. They, they are. They, I think they're playing tonight. I think Southampton's playing tonight because I saw Grizz saying surely Lavia can't play for Southampton or something like that. Oh okay. No, they did play. They played against. Oh, they've Chilling. already played. They lost. That's, oh, if that's the case, then they got knocked enough. out. Or oh, Southampton's get out. Uh, they they lost. Oh, they got knocked out. Okay, fair <laughs> they enough. They lost 3-1. Yeah, G Gillingham... The competition just started. <laughs> Gillingham um, have, I think, a total in terms of the, the, the cost of the team. I think it's of 350k. Mm. And um, Southampton have a £74 million rated team and they got battered 3-1. Oh. To Gillingham. Did they play kids or something? 
Damn. Well, Lavia didn't play, so that's... Yeah, Lavia didn't play, yeah. I remember you yeah. saying that on the video. Hmm. Wow. That's unfortunate for them. Anyway. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe we should problem. keep away from Gillingham then. <laughs> Seems like they've got something to bring to the table. But <laughs> yeah, guys, that's uh, that's the teams available. So hopefully... um. I mean, yeah, but it's unfortunate we're even in this predicament, but hey, what can you do? Uh, smash up the like, subscribe. We will see you guys next time. A couple of days away in a bit, people. Peace.